but all right. So anyway, what we are going to do is we are going to graph this equation, but we first have to state the direction of opening. We are sorry, direction of shading as well as the type of line. Now the symbol right here, the less than symbol tells me the direction of shading. So what does less than mean? Would I be shading above that graph or I'd be shading below the graph for, for less than? Below it. Less than, a smaller than symbol tells you that you will be shading below. Because you want the values that are smaller than it. So that should be below it. The or equal to part of that, the line underneath, tells you about the type of line it is. If it has a solid line underneath it, that's going to tell you that this is a solid line. It's a solid line. Really? If it didn't have a solid line underneath it, if it had no line, then it would be a dotted line. So this is an example of a shading below and a solid line. Now the point of that is that I will have to graph this appropriately. We're going to do it exactly the same way as we did before. Can somebody tell me the starting location? Where I would start this? Negative 4. That is your y-intercept. So we put a dot on negative 4. What's up? Yeah, that is a good point. You do have to put a 1 underneath the 3 to tell you what the run is. Now, go down negative, go down 3 and then over 1 to the positive side. Good. Down 3 and over 1 to the positive side would be down right down here, down. which is slightly off the graph. So we're going to go the other way. Up 3, 1, 2, 3, and negative. over 1 to the negative side. Now, you should do that as many times as you can to get to the end of the graph because your line is going to need to be shaded underneath the entire thing. What type of line is this going to be? Is it going to be a solid or a dotted? Uh, it's going to be a solid. A solid line. So we just draw the line like we would with any other thing. We just draw the solid line in there. The next part is talking about shading. The shading is going to be below here because it's a less than symbol. Yes, it is. So which side of this is below the line? That's a good question. It's the left side. Yeah, the left side is the below the line. And we will color in this entire thing. Now remember what I told you yesterday about determining if it's above or below. Below means what other word would be below? Like up or down? Under. Under or down, right? Any point on the line. If you drew an arrow down, that would be the below side. So whatever side the arrow shows up on, that's the below side. Here we have below is on the yellow side, so we did color the correct side. So you should shade in below your line, that color. Are there any questions about that? No, sir. Wait, let me talk about this. Okay. Let me do one more example yeah, from you. this. What? Yesterday we were talking about this. You have to solve it. Uh, we will talk about that at the end. We, we will go over that again today. So what other question from this worksheet? Number three was said with more conviction, so we're going to do number three. Number three is a little Whoa. bit different. It is, uh, what does the less than symbol tell me? It's, uh, below. That's going to shade below because that is a smaller than symbol. The fact that there is no line underneath it means it's going to be a dotted line. Do it. That's a good question. Where is the y-intercept? Is the plus zero? What number is over there? Nothing. Nothing. So that is a zero. The y-intercept for this equation is zero because there is nothing written there. So it's going to cross at zero. The slope tells me the direction to go. What direction do I go here? Up three, down, over two. Right. Up three and over two to the left or to the right? How can you tell? To the right. How do you tell? Uh, how can you tell if you go left or right? Because it's negative. That is a positive two, so that tells you to go right two. I could have also gone down three and to the left two to make the similar line going in the opposite direction. Now, when I go to draw the line, a lot of people forget they try to just draw the line in, but this is not just a line, it's a, a dotted line. So you should draw it in as a dotted line instead of a solid line. 
This is to tell you that the points that are along this line itself are not part of the solution. Those points on the line are not part of the answer. Okay, the uh, right side is the blow. That's a good point. This side is below that line. I think that's pretty clear. So this is the side that gets colored in. You will take a test on this eventually. I have not determined that yet. In order to figure out that this is the below side, you can take any point that is on the line and draw an arrow straight down, and that tells you that that is the below side, and we did color this in on the correct side. Are there any questions that I can answer prior to moving on? Good. Do numbers one through six now. We will talk about the other stuff in a little bit.